Hey guys, it's me. Um, I just wanted to share some thoughts with you, some things I've been thinking about here lately. Uh, I've been reading the Gospels, and especially the, the parts about the lepers. Um, you know, they're, they're the outcasts of society. They're the folks that nobody wants to be around. Only Jesus can, can help them. Everybody else wants to avoid them, you know, they make them say unclean, they got to shout that out and they got to cover their bodies. So, so it got me to thinking, who are, the, um, who are the lepers of our day? Who are the folks that we try to avoid, that we, we want to stay away from? And, and I think I know who they are. I mean, there are these folks who, you know, you know when we see them, we, we just try to stay away from them. We, you know, when we see them, maybe it... Um, Bob Evans, you know, the one by Walmart, close close to the car dealership. Um, when they come in there and sit down, we, we get up and move to the other side, or we ask the waitress to be moved somewhere else, or we just get the check and we leave. So who are these folks that uh, they're unclean, I guess, so to speak, that nobody wants to be around? Um, basically, they're, they're large families. They are folks who have four, five, six, seven, eight kids. Um, most of them Catholic or Mormon, uh, all of them homeschooled, obviously. Um, they dress like they just got you know, a big box of hand-me-downs and the kids are excited about that. But these are the folks that are the unclean of our society today, these, these, these large families. And I, I shouldn't be upset about it because I have a large family myself. Um, but yeah, they're the ones that, you know, I take my kids through the, through the line in Kroger's or through the aisle and it looks like a the mobile barrel of monkeys with all the kids hanging off and grabbing things and putting them inside. And I see you, I see you turn around and try to avoid my, avoid my aisle. And I don't need that. I don't need you judging me. I don't need you. Um, you know, the one lady asked me, she's like, uh, could you just, when you're in the aisle, could you just have yourself maybe and your wife shout out instead of unclean, you could shout out like, um, fertile, fertile in this aisle or fertile. And I was, you know, kind of offended, but I knew what she meant. And, or maybe have the kids, you know, shout out, we're learning Latin, we're learning Latin, or we need social skills, we have hand-me-down clothes, things like, just to let people know that there's a large, large family in the aisle. Um, but yeah, basically we're, we're the lepers, and, and we don't need your judgment, we, we need your help. Um, so if you can get folks together, maybe rent out a, a daycare center, um, watch our kids for a while, or maybe uh, an abandoned warehouse, that would work as well. Those, those are good places for our kids to play. Um, but yeah, take them off our hands for just, just a while. Um, but, you know, we're, we're not unclean. We're just fertile. See ya.